Okay, so I would say that today our goal is to just get ward 5 and then continue with whatever we were doing. Work for university students. Not so interested in that. I was looking for some fashion related stuff because I know that. Let me see. Wait, something's not showing. Yep, I, I'm not sure if I see what I'm supposed to see on Twitch. That's why I'm refreshing. Okay, it seems like everything is fine. Okay, I don't seem to see anything so interesting here. Just to make sure I don't miss any like fashion related hints, because that's the most difficult one to find. I never remember this area. Did I ever pass through here? Likely no. Okay. Then I kind of want to see this one. Okay, I could actually see something. No, not this. Oh, okay, I could not find hints. Then that makes a bit more sense. Four documents. Okay. I guess it's hers. That's enough forgery for one person. You know what you're doing. Did you want a pumpkin carriage and some glass slippers, senora? Smuggling in as romantico as that. Javier, yes? I've outgrown fairy tales. I'm here to make a deal. I left that fucking chest by the door. I could barely lug it. Big as a whale's two heads. It must be some important you stuff in there. Stand here and stare. The police at the entrance had me a little concerned. Did something happen we should worry about? Esos pinches pendejos can't keep their hands to themselves. Someone fucking filched a weapons transport and now the police are shitting themselves. They're looking high and low, even under hookers' skirts. Somos profesionales. We'll keep out of sight. And it'll be gone, Skeet. Okay. So what's the plan? What are we doing? You'll get papers. Austrian ones. Almost authentic, but don't go flashing them left and right. Then it's off to the pier and onto a boat out of the city. Then a steamship upriver. In Krakow, a transfer to a Vienna-bound train. You'll be there in a few days. Si, sí, bueno. As soon as we agree on the money. Your turn. Tell the gentleman about the compensation. You'll get my whole fortune. The appropriate paperwork will be yours as soon as I leave Warsaw. 
Tola, all of it. Meaning, how much? Enough, so you won't have to lift a finger for the rest of your life. What about the travel chest? Do we have to bring that? Oh, absolutely. That's exactly what I'm paying you for. I have the feeling that's so, something that's right. unexpected. Vamos? Let's go. If this is going to work, then we need to get going. Ariel, you go to the puerto and call the little captain. La señora will get changed. And we'll follow after you. Victor will come too. You'll see if anyone's following us. Что? I do what? What you pay for. Via Candils, my friend. Agita nar, Shaifella. Okay. I'm not sure why I have to be part of that, but. Just to make sure that there is nothing else I could do, but it seems like there is nothing else. Yeah, seems like there is nothing. Actually, before I leave this area, Port Prague. I've never been here, right? I don't think I've ever been here. Okay, I can't really get beyond here. What about there? That's where I arrived from. Let's see. There isn't much to see. Okay, that's it. That looks like the track, the train track. Yeah, I'm really missing that. Okay, that's it. You damn white fucker! You've ruined my life! Your chica did what she wanted. Victor, tell him I'm right. Two of you? I'll fuck you both up. I'm going to get killed because someone disrespected the sanctity of marriage. Shh. Yeah, that's not very fun, but luckily we have enough people. Let's try to... Technically we don't have to get rid of anyone. Could just book a book. Okay, that's a lot of blood. Maybe this was better. Okay. 
this one's dead. This one's slightly dead. I can't really take out my focus, so I don't think there's anything too dainty. Okay, all of them will be dead, let's just finish this. Okay, we should be done with this fight. Have you ever considered celibacy? Your business would go better. <sighs> I doubt that would happen. But what kind of life would that be, Signora? Okay, let's go. How come we are back at this place? This really doesn't make sense. That's stuttering. Okay, nothing else I can check out. Then this is what we have. Boat can't hold that. There is no choice. If God wills it, a broom can shoot. Load it up. Vamonos. There's no time. I need another word with Victor. Senora. I wanted to thank you. I don't know anyone who'd risk his life for a stranger. If there's any way I can repay you, just. Say the word. I don't want anything. I hope you make it safely to Vienna. I'm grateful, but I don't like being in debt. And I also believe you have the right to know. What are you guys lagging around for? Hurry up! Your father moved in the circles of people who shared his views, who would like to see Poland back okay. on the map. That's Do not you very understand surprising. what I mean? He was a patriot. My father and the revolutionaries? There's no way that could be right. I beg you. Whatever he was planning, it was certainly more subtle and effective than planting bombs in restaurants. I never met them. He called them his coterie. They were all friends of his. He secretly dreamed of creating a force that would give true hope to the Polish people. One that might tilt the scales in favor of the independence fighters. Loka, quickly! He believed he didn't need a great army, just a handful of daredevils with extraordinary abilities. You getting in the boat or not? <laughs> I need to go. Your father was a wonderful man, Victor. And you remind me of him a great deal. Thank you for everything. Wait, who are these people? How can I find them? I don't I'm not know. sure if I want to find them. They hide them. in the shadows. Good luck. I trust that you'll find your grimoire, Viktor Shulski. I didn't even mention the grimoire. She knows about that. Adieu. an eye on those bequeathal papers. If there's a problem with payment, we'll reach out to you. Why are you so distrustful? When a poor man eats a chicken, one of them is sick. What is that? Amigos. It 
something's wrong here. So they just get something like that. What? That's not a saddle drill, right? A saddle can't go like this. What? Am I crazy? But everyone sees that. What? How does that just suddenly happen? You think they're dead? They had no chance. Clad in clay and the fury of the sons of Israel will arise to crush their enemies. Get out of here. Golems follow blood. Golems. The farther away you are, the better. How do you see a golem? I don't believe it. Salutus can't physically manifest. Tell her to have you. Look at this guy teaching Kabbalah to a Jew. That was a golem, you schmuck, and it will pursue them until their blood is lost in the abysses of Sheol. What? Do you understand? I don't understand. What am I supposed to do to get rid of him? The golem is going to look for you until he kills you and all of those of your blood. That is, unless you can figure out why he was sent after you. He must have really gotten under somebody's skin. I haven't done anything to anyone. That means someone of your blood did it. Do you hear me? Ask your blood. It's my father Get again. lost. You're not exactly my favorite person right now. I guess there's nothing for me here. Yeah, I don't know how I suddenly just run into a golem. Yeah. But that's extremely similar to, uh, similar to what I saw with my father, right? He also died from practically the same thing. Was that the sound of a fuck up? Shouldn't we check it out? Like hell we should. They don't pay me enough for that. You! Stop! Papers, please. <sighs> I thought I wouldn't have to resort to this, but since you insist... Of course, sir. We are sorry. Go right ahead. Oh, so that's what it means. To dust you shall return. Is that Gollum? That makes sense. I was kind of thinking why it would be like to dust you shall return. Something's wrong here.
has really not much bleeding, so I don't really mind. I think we're almost done with this, so I don't even care if I have three beating now. We're done. Okay, what else is here? Nothing. So I would guess that Gollum also killed my father. That would explain a lot of things. My father is very surprised that the Gollum found, found him. Who was that guy? Don't even think of reaching for your magic book. Konechkin. Vanya's pistol has a very sensitive trigger. The second he moves, I'm blow his brains out, Chief. Chief! Let's do our best not to have Vanya shoot you in the head, all right? All you have to do is tell us where Svetlana Petrovna is. I'm running to a phone. There's been an accident. I think the pier collapsed. Was Svetlana Romantova there? I there don't must know. be some mistake, Chief. The mistake was beating up my brother. You did seriously rough up my men at Romantova's apartment. You can hand over the ID too. He won't need it anymore. Svetlana. We've got to find her, Victor. I'm running to a f I'll shoot her. We haven't got time, Victor. You <laughs> need to find out where she is. Hope I could just repeat We that. know you helped Renanzo escape. And I know she was sleeping with your father. I told you. He had no secrets from me. I was helping him. I'm running out of patience. Where is she? I didn't like my father. No one did. But his collaborating with the Ochrana seems improbable to me. A wealthy Pole in the Russian partition who avoided not one, but two serious scandals. A divorce and your incident with Nyejit. Would he have managed on his own? What did I even do with this? The question friend? is, what did Svetlana know? And what do the secret police want from her? That woman was a Gordian knot. I know that she spent years compiling all sorts of compromising material against the Tsar's government. She was a traitor. We were observing her, but she managed to get everything out of her apartment. I need to know if her knowledge could threaten the security of the nation. As far as I know, all Svetlana's secrets went with her to the bottom of the Vistula. <sighs> Should we take him to the Citadel, Chief? No, Vanya. We'll finish this here. Okay. Nice. Why did you help Svetlana?
you first. Why did you kill him? I never liked him. And he shouldn't know so much. Why did you help Svetlana? The emotions linking her to my father seemed sincere to me. I trusted her. What if you were wrong? Maybe your father got together with her because I told him to. Told her. Would you believe me if I told you that your father didn't trust her? No, I wouldn't. Quid pro quo, chief. Where's my father's grimoire? Look for it in uh, Stanislav's circle of old friends. People who could take advantage of a missing grimoire. Thaumaturges. Do you know who they are? Where I can find them? No. But once you do, don't neglect to inform me. And watch out. They're very dangerous people. I need to get out of here. Yeah, I need to get out of here. I feel like the world will be very different after I get out. Oh. I can't even go there anymore. Okay, I have to go home. Ah, you're finally here. We've been waiting for you. I'm afraid I was boring your charming sister with my chatter. Ah, nonsense. I'll leave you two alone. You look tired. Is everything all right? Do you need my help? How do you know my address? People in Warsaw know who the Schulskis are. You're quiet this evening. Did something happen? This has been an especially difficult night for me. Is everything all right with Svetlana? Why do you ask? You two left without saying goodbye. Did something happen? I saw a golem. A golem? From Jewish legends? Whoa. Is it a salutor? Yes, and it turned out to be a very real salutor. A material one. I didn't think that was even possible. And what does it have to do with Svetlana? I'm afraid... Svetlana is dead. <sighs> I was afraid of this. Did the golem kill her? You could say that. The golem sank her boat by collapsing the roof over the pier. Svetlana intended to live off of selling other people's secrets. Secrets can be deadly. Do you want to know what she shared with me? I'm intrigued. The question is, can you bear the burden that she also carried? Can you say which secret of Svetlana's you mean? She had a whole chest full of them. That wasn't in the chest. And now it's only in my memory. Will you tell me what this is about? Not here, no. Get some rest first. At our next meeting, at the Narizhinskis. It's safe there, for now. Thank you for stopping by. 
see you again soon, my friend. One more question. Might this golem cause you any trouble? I'm sure I'll find out soon. I think we need to have a word. How do you know people like this, Rasputin? How long was he here? He arrived shortly before you did. Unexpectedly, he scared Grazina. I received him in the salon so that he wouldn't go wandering through the house. What were you talking about before I interrupted you? What difference does it make? About... Strange. I don't remember even. Sometimes he has that effect on people. What kind of person is he? He's that miracle worker I was writing to you about. The one who helped me return to my senses. Not completely, I think. Given that you brought him with you. He just came to see me. I owe him a lot. It looks like he knows you better than I do. What makes you dislike him so much? It's how he talks and, and his eyes. They unsettle me. And he smells. Haven't you noticed? I can still smell him here. I can only congratulate you on having friends like that. First Miedzic, now a gloomy hermit. And ladies of the night have started hanging around outside the windows. Are they also friends of yours? Who are those women? Horace Victor, prostitutes. Women of easy virtue, daughters of Corinth. Courtesans, moths, hookers, floozies. I've been seeing two girls around here recently. They stand out on the street and peek into our windows. Maybe Abaurus is playing a prank. This can wait. Honestly, I don't think that's the case. Lisa, I'm really dead on my feet, but there's one more thing we need to have a word about. I wonder what I don't know yet. How long have you known your chief? What does that matter? So you knew he worked for the Ochrana? Yes. You'd have found in the end anyway, but he asked me not to tell you right away. I understand that each of us has various relationships we're tangled up in. But I think we should start talking about them more often. Agreed. I'll only add that a contact like him is very useful in business. I'm guessing he knows how to arrange contacts for you. I'm sure he often invites you to all sorts of soirees and receptions, right? I don't always accept. Seems like we've each got our own miracle worker. I know who he is, and I treat him very cautiously. Plus, we've already established that you don't report to me about your acquaintances. Besides, it was Papa who introduced him to me all those years ago. What's the real reason we're talking about Konyechkin? Did Konyechkin know our father long? Ever since you left to live with mother in Paris. Someone clearly had to clean up after you and Abouris. <laughs> Maybe there's no point in dwelling on the past. I saw him once more at Port Praga. Uh, what were you doing there? I helped Fitwana. She wanted to flee the country. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Do you know what forces you're playing with? You know full well who she is. Who she was. 
Sorry, what? Svetlana is dead. She was just setting off on a lovely voyage when the golem appeared and... Svetlana is dead. We're finished. They'll put us both in prison. What will become of us? What about Uncle Sasha? I handled something for him recently, so I'm sure he'd be eager to help. It's too risky to arrange this through family. And morally dubious. I'm afraid this is outside his purview. Don't worry. Nothing will happen to us. I'll make sure of it. How will you do that? I don't think I could call Doctor. Maybe him. your devoted secret police chief will reveal something. Perhaps you should ask him. Yes, I know he's from the Oklahoma. He's bragged to me about it himself. Well, maybe your magic monk is up to something. Hmm? Magic no, I've monk. had enough. Don't say another word. I desperately need to be alone right now. Who are my cigarettes? Okay, so that is chapter two. It looks familiar, and yet different. Is this a dream? I think so. I need to get out of here. What is this? Oh, it's okay. <laughs> crazy. Father, blind fool. Well, what don't I see? Maybe you could give me an answer this time. What don't you know? Why is the golem pursuing our blood? You've not just put me in danger, but Liga as well. Who did you hurt so much that the golem was aiming to? Hold on. It succeeded, didn't it? That's what killed you. That's what made the building fall on you. Why did you let a rat like Konyechkin into our home? Now he's dogging Liga and me. Were you working for him? Did you start informing on your customers for him? A fool's theory. Who inflicted this punishment on you? What for? And how the hell do I lift it? Everything I've done... ...was with your children and mine. I've heard it all before. For our good, I know. Thanks a lot. I didn't ask you for anything. Certainly not for someone like Konyechkin to cover for me. I didn't make you get into bed with him. Are you finally going to say something? You've wasted your time. I left you all the answers. You just have to find them. Where am I supposed to look for them? In the back grimoire, which I nearly got from you. In that case, where is it? Who was it? Your friends? Your coterie that you hid even from your lover? Who are they? What were you planning? You possess everything I had. 
I have left you everything you need. Okay, we will be able to find it. Not sure if we want to find it. Come back here! I'm not finished with you yet! Okay, that's just a dream. <sighs> On one hand, it's a good thing that it's a dream. On the other hand... There might be some truth to it. Victor is back. Charles' birthday. We're almost Ward 5. I have a feeling that my sister also has a very clear political stance somehow. Maybe even clearer than my father. My sister is not someone that kind of wants nothing for herself. She certainly stands somewhere. I just need to know where. Look who's up. Sleeping beauty. Have some coffee. In the morning, Grazenka brews it strong. All the revelations yesterday overwhelmed me a little. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for my outburst. Forgive me for yesterday. Warsaw was getting to me. Yes, I know the feeling. And I don't want to quarrel with you either. We'd be better off focusing on the obstacles ahead of us. I thought that, given our situation, your suggestion to talk to Konyechkin wasn't so bad after all. I suspect he'll offer us a deal with the devil. For now, I'm just thinking out loud. What's next? I had a dream about father. Me too. Right after he died. He was soothing me with my favorite lullaby. First he insulted me, and then blood poured down his face. Mm. Very funny. Do you see him often in your dreams? <sighs> this was only the second time. I hope there will be more. It's been a long time since I was quarantined in the hospital. They're not ordinary dreams. They're very realistic visions. I talk to him, I ask questions, but I can't understand his answers. Why don't we focus on real life? Has anything been reported about Port Plaga? I've been keeping an eye out, but nothing yet. Nothing. That's but Svetlana's good. disappearance won't go unnoticed for long. Hyenas like fresh corpses. I know that you're still sorting through things there, but I really have to visit our store in Mirov. I'm basically done, and I was planning to go there now after breakfast. Will you join me? I should look through all of Father's things in the store. Everything he left behind. All right, let's go. Not much has changed here. Just Is this an antique store? Well, maybe it's the only. That's right. Now it's your kingdom. I don't think queens dig through columns of numbers, exotic names, addresses, and consignment notes. 
or scold customers who don't know the difference between powdered skull and powdered mine. Have you developed an interest in the family business? Actually, what is the difference between mummy powder and skull powder? Uh, skull powder is powder from a skull. You use it to make an extract for apoplexy and bleeding. Thomas Willis, a pioneer of brain research, had a habit of adding it to his... That does not look like more than medicine, but anyway. Powdered mummy is an oil. Egyptian mummies are covered in a dark substance that's a mixture of embalming fluids and organic fluids from the body of the deceased. This hardened human resin has to be scraped off the mummy and made into an oil. It helps with wounds, rashes, sore throats and dizziness. It sounds like that substance is bitumen. And there are easy ways of getting it than scraping mummies. That might be. But our customers prefer scraped mummies. Unless you are considering diversifying our selection. This conversation has convinced me even more that father left the business in the right hands. Come into my chamber. I have to take care of the inventory. Try not to make more of a mess than there already is. Yeah, let's take a look. Burning hatred. Someone's disappearance. Okay, apparently my father tried to make someone else disappear. What is this? The photograph, Victor. A marvelous invention. Father was very fond of them. I meant what father has on his face, but... Smile. I'm sure someone he disliked had just died. Did you want something, or are you here to joke around? The guy next to father. That's Hayat, right? Yes, he's just younger, Victor. That's how photographs work, you know. They stop time and place. I can also see here that they were friends. But a year ago, that ended and they stopped working together. Yes, you mentioned it recently. It's a shame Papa never said why. Could Hayat have wanted our father to die? Could he have sent the golem after him? I think you'll have to ask him. I heard that he bought out one of the two rundown laundries here in Mirov, not too far away. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you. When was this picture taken? Who knows, a quarter century ago? We must not have even been five. But you two look more and more alike. Don't scare me. I'm taking an... Oh, come on. Is there? Yes. I'll take a quick look around. Be careful. <laughs> On my way.
actually. Oh, I don't find that. of night sky. That's probably a class that I can only take at night. Okay, so this is a new area. Very nice. Buy some exotic fruits. Orange. Oh, I wish I could eat some orange. Used to be one of my favorite fruits. <sighs> but in general, not anymore. I just don't have a strong preference for it anymore. That's him! The one with the butch! What? You oozing carbuncle! You ain't had enough of Warsaw yet? So you're sticking your nose in on people here? You know what happens to fellas who sniff around where they ain't so... <coughs> Niru, don't Excuse kid me. around with them. I just wanted to stop by the laundry. He must have shit his pants. You have to find yourself another laundry. really have anything. That's a lot of active status. takes too long.
just You're talking nonsense. By Ebra Did you hear about Praga? I'm at the harbor getting fish, and half the wharf is in splinters. They said there's even bodies. More bodies than they usually fish out of the Vistula. Practically every day. They were only just writing about Povishle. But listen to this. They're saying it's some giant did it all. You sure? Maybe I can help. Recently I've taken an interest in one of theirs. Leave us alone. Did you wander in here by mistake? I hope those guys outside are your relatives. Otherwise, you're paying too much for your protection. Are you scared of something? I'm not easily frightened. I have the time spent working with your father to thank for that. You got some dirty laundry that needs cleaning, Mr. Shulsky. You were curious how my father died. Beneath the ruins of a building in Shudnieshtje. That's awful. How did it happen? I'm glad you're asking. A remarkable death, isn't it? Yes. Let's have a word about your conflict with my father. There was no such thing. I have warm feelings for the store, and his father as well. Why did you quit working for my father? It was a mutual decision. I know that you and my father parted ways in bad terms. What happened? We both had difficult personalities, but I still remember him fondly. You're not telling me everything. I don't have to explain myself to you, Mr. Shulsky. I'm leaving now, but I can tell this won't be the last time we meet. Farewell. Oh, that's my father's. They argued. I think I, they looked like they argued. I don't know about what. Regret. Disappointment. My father disappointment in my father. It makes sense. Such a poor area. Okay, that's a bazaar. Should go there at some point. What do you want to tell me, friend? What's that? The teacher said, Victor, is 
right here in the classroom with us right now. <laughs> I almost pissed myself. I love all you want, but I really can see. I can help it. Victor, promise me that the whispers of these salutars of yours won't turn you into a cynic like your father. I promise, Mother. I'd rather not change at all, much less into father. Okay, so I've been hearing voices, things, and also seeing visions. You'll see! My author will order you to eat your own brain! I'm telling you, Mom, all you temper turges are crazy. This. I remember this place. I've been carrying it with me for half a lifetime. I remember there was someone else here. He wasn't happy. He thought I wasn't ready yet. Yes, maybe he was right. Okay, something's there. I want to finish this one. A game for bird. Interesting. Okay, so... I see. Praga. Oh, okay. So we unlocked quite a few places. Yeah, that's the perception I want to go to. Let me see. Of all the giants in Povishla, you walk into this one again. You won't give up that easy. Deep down, you're not that kind of man. Tilting at windmills has dimmed your investigator's instinct, but you won't give them the satisfaction. I don't have the strength. I do. Let's bring this case to a close. Let's find the real fisherman. You're right. The dubber is innocent. I'm not going to fall in with a heartless system where all that matters is the quarterly performance. Come, I'll show you the body. It's still in the ice room, 
unless the pallbearer took it. I'll tell you the rest of the story there. Viktor Shulski, Thaumaturge. Antoni Nigorevich Pilevin. Lead the way. I hope I don't regret it, Thaumaturge. And four, come on. Oh, okay, so that's how so much of the oh, okay, it's still locked. Never mind, I thought it's almost all locked, but no. Can't he just walk faster? Oh, okay, so it is this place. There he is. Tadeusz Pielecha, a Powiśle man, childless, 46 years old. He was a fisherman. No, Tomaturk. Zadziela? I presume that's his trademark. Yes, he always puts pebbles in place of gouged out eyes. Ordinary river pebbles, probably collected at the local wharf. Any personal items? Something could have been imprinted on him. His emotions, thoughts, anything. All he had was his wedding ring. But we gave it back to the widow because she was crying that she wanted to have a memento of her husband. We should ask her to show this wedding ring to us. Where can I find the widow? She lives in a house on the corner, between the marketplace and the Agis brothel. Pileha wasn't the fisherman's first victim. What about the others? There was another fisher. A porter, a traveling saleswoman, but this is our best clue. Were other victims from around here as well? Some spent all their lives in Povishle. Others were passing through. And they were just unlucky. Then it's certain the fisherman lives in the area and knows it well. Which means he probably also keeps his victims somewhere around yep. here. And then just drops them on the bank? Did he have a family? We only know about the wife. They didn't seem to get along. He has multiple wounds and bruises. Yeah, he was tortured before he died. But the immediate cause of death was a strong hit to the back of the head. Stamped like a fish. It's a joke. All right, the autopsy is over. When did Pielecha's wife report he was missing? She admitted she was worried her husband had been gone for three days. She did take her time. Maybe she was the one who killed him. Why don't you talk to her? If you need me, I'll be at the moonshine. Okay, I don't think I could 
I don't think I could finish this. It does do it all. 